<laughs> so uh, I was there. I got there in um, the end of September of 1991. And it was on Halloween night that uh, we all went into Lahaina. This is the town of Lahaina um, in Maui. Um, I drove with the, the woman that invited me there, uh, her boyfriend, and then another woman. Um, her name is Kitty. And um, when I was at this place, there were certain nights that I'd go to sleep and I felt, um, I felt this spirit, this dark, oppressive spirit that was there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the place. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know where it came from or this or that, but it was there. Right. And there was probably about 30 people living in this commune, which right. is what it was. Right. And um, anyhow, there was a number of times that I remember before this night that I would think about God. I would think mm -hmm. about, I would just think about God. Mm -hmm. um, when I would feel this oppressiveness as I'm going to bed, it would always happen at night. So anyway, Halloween night, we drive into Lahaina, where we all dress up. So I was dressed up as an Indian. And uh, so we all go in there and this other sister commune, so join them and it winded up being like 50 people. Uh, and they have like little bongos and um, what do you call it? Um, little shakers. Little rattles. Shakers uh, and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tambourines. And, uh -huh. uh, and they're all dressed up in kind of fanfare. Mm -hmm. um, like kind of one though, you know. Well, they're in town, and they're, they form a circle, and they're doing this chant. And people, I mean, there's thousands of people in Lahaina mm -hmm. on Halloween night. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, they're going to and fro, and people are stopping, checking out this exhibition. You know? Right, right. And um, my eyes saw, it was crazy. I remember looking... I wasn't in the circle. I was outside, like the people watching. And I saw what they were doing. And I, could, I sensed it. I knew it. I felt it. And they would call them down spirits into these people that were in the middle. It was, it was nuts. I know you're hearing that for the first time. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like, mm -hmm. you know. Well, there's a, I mean, there's a spirit world out there, right? Yeah. A lot of people either deny it or they uh, acknowledge that it exists. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's biblical, mm -hmm. and we don't, want, it's, we don't want a wrong relationship to the spirit world, right? I mean, no. we, we, want, we want God in our life. We want the Holy Spirit in yeah. our life. But there is a, another well, side of that us. fence, right? I mean, I mean, it's clear in Scripture. What did Jesus do? Most yeah. He cast most, out demons. Yeah, most people just don't get in the middle of it and have the kind of experience that you're Correct. you're talking about, but right. that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So this so. is the whole point of why God chose that place hmm. that night would be my night. Hmm. And what he did was he literally just pulled back the curtain and that I would see the spiritual warfare mm -hmm. that exists and specifically over my own soul. Hmm. So the night ended a couple of hours later, and um, I remember meeting up with everybody in the parking lot, and and Aaron and um, Sue were packed in like sardines into one of these old 1969 uh, Volkswagen mm -hmm. vans, mm -hmm. and you know they're, it's just packed of people that are going to go back to right. uh, Akua is the name of it. Um, that was the name of the place, Hale Akua. Um, and it means house of God. It was a missionary hmm. uh, place at one time. Originally, yeah. Originally, that's what it was, yeah. I don't know what it is now. But anyhow, I get to the van and I say, let me in, I want to come in. And they're like, no, 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 you just drive back with Kitty. And I'm like, uh, I don't really, thought, I, no, 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 no. I don't want to, I want to go, I want to go with you guys. Because I knew she was part of the source. Mm -hmm. and, um, they were, and Sue said, uh, you know, we'll meet you back there. It's only an, a little over an hour. We'll meet you back there. So they close the door and they take off. 
and she's standing behind me. So I got into her uh, Cadillac, and uh, we started driving back, and um, um, she started talking to me, and I had an anger towards her, and I told her, I was like, look, just, just don't talk, don't talk to me. All right, I don't want to talk to you, we'll just drive back. And I think it was because I, I sensed, I knew what had happened, what mm -hmm, I saw mm -hmm. came from her. Mm -hmm. But she had something to do with it. Right, right. So that's where I, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be near her, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as we're driving, she's driving, I'm in the passenger seat. The next thing I know is I'm screaming. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, I'm in complete torment. In my mind, my whole being, there's something that's just come taken, over you. Come over, taking over. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, it was the most vile, uh, disgusting, evil. I mean, if you think about when Jesus, when the Bible describes the torment these people were in. Mm -hmm. That's what I experienced. Wow. In that brief moment. Hmm. And. Um, I felt like I had retreated to like just the last little sane thought in my brain that I could think mm -hmm. that did what's happening to me. And um, I said in my mind, God, if this is how you want me to die, then this will be the way I die. And I literally screamed what I thought was my last breath. Mm. And I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm dying right now. Right. And I'm going to just, whatever, combust. That's what it felt like. It was so much death. Mm. It just was death. You know? How do you, how do you think you were going to die? I don't know. I was just going to die. I was going to mm -hmm. just die. Because mm -hmm. death was all over me. <clears throat> and so when I screamed, and then I said what I said in my mind, it was instantaneous. It was the most miraculous thing I ever felt in my life. It will be. I know I will talk to Jesus about it when I see him. Um, but it was the Holy Spirit, instantaneous. That evil spirit was gone, it was out of me, and the Holy Spirit was over me. And I was in the car, and I remember I had my hands clenched like this, and I had my eyes closed, and what I think was about seven minutes long, um, I just had, I was, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I did straight for seven minutes as I'm getting this download hmm. of God speaking to me hmm. in my mind and telling me that it was time for me to come out of the dark, that I was, um, that I was playing in the park of dark, that he knew me all my life, that if you say you, you say me. If you say me, you say you telling me that that was how connected I am to him. Mm -hmm. um, he talked about um, how he had been with me through the times that I wanted him back, wanted him in my life. Um, that from this day forward, things were going to be different. Um, that I would live for him. Um, that I would have power in him over darkness. That I, I now possess the power over darkness in my life. It was, it was crazy. I mean, here's, you know, all of a sudden I get this, you know, mm -hmm. it's like. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty radical difference uh, from the. I don't share it a whole lot. <laughs> well, I just live my life now. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it sounds like a Damascus Road experience. It was. That's what, I do say that. Right. I do say that. Yeah. It was, yeah. I mean, uh, you were in darkness and. Yes, sir. And miraculously, God showed up and really rescued. shined a, shined a light into your into your life and into my soul. You. Right. So, um, so finally, you know, again, the Spirit of God speaks to me, tells me things of my future, talks about the, His kingdom, talks about heaven, and talks about Judgment Day. Um, and then, again, you know, I'm not biblical, so I know nothing of this. You know, mm -hmm. so. And then the spirit kind of lifts off, and then it's like normal again. Mm -hmm. And the woman, the where this mm -hmm. 
spirit came out of was driving. And during the time that that seven minutes, I can hear her making sounds like, oh, or, oh, like I can mm -hmm, hear. Mm -hmm. Gasping and just kind of. Because she was getting it too. She hmm. was hearing it. I, I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. But I know, you know, I never really like asked her. You know, yeah. I never saw her again really after that night. Something was happening in her while it was I happening felt, in I you. knew that. I knew that. So as soon as, when the spirit left, I looked at her. And the first thing I say to her is, it's for you too. That's the first thing I said. I, and then I said, take it. You can have it too. That's what I said. <laughs> I really did. First of all, she leases this dog out on me. Now I'm going to tell you it's for you too. <laughs> it's like, okay, God's already at work. And I'm not kidding. That's exactly what happened. And I could, and she's kind of like, like this. And mm -hmm. she's kind of looking at me a little bit like that. And I could see her thinking, processing. Right. You know, and I looked at her with all whatever she was wearing. Um, I could see her as a child, hmm. as without this thing. Right, right. And I could see her thinking, and I'm not kidding. Her whole body just jerked right back, and she was gone. Hmm. It's like she went boof, and it was back in her. Hmm. Right back to the state she'd been in before. Yeah, this thing was back in her. She was possessed again. Wow. No question. Because as I go back here, I start thinking about, this. so she's gone, she's driving. Mm -hmm. And we're driving to this place. Right. You know, it's two o'clock in the morning. And I come back here to myself and I'm thinking about what just happened to me. Mm -hmm. What just happened? My, my life just changed. God just rescued me. I was dying. I just gave my life over. I was dead. Mm. I literally took a breath thinking I was crossing over. You've never experienced it. I died. I died. Mm. I honestly died because I let it all go. Mm -hmm. And I believed I was crossing over. Mm. So now I'm still alive. Right. <laughs> Much to your surprise. <laughs> and it's like, okay, what, what do I do now? Right. What, what's going on? Exactly. You know? And I'm thinking about just what happened. And it's beautiful. I'm thinking beautiful thoughts. I'm thinking, thank you again, you know, just praising him. And I don't know anything about it, you know. Hmm. And then I feel this thing right here. This is as, far, as close as it could come. I could feel it. And I just pointed and I said, stop. And I felt it just suck right. This is where it gets kind of strange where people are like, okay, he's on drugs. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is, I was allowed, this was allowed to happen to me. I experienced it. It was real. Listen, wake up. You know, there's a, we all, those of us that believe that when you die, it's not the end of life, that we actually go to eternal life, mm -hmm. to the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. Well, it exists here. Right. We're spiritual beings, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, just read the Bible. Talk to all about it. Right, it does. And that window was open to me. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. You know, it was rough. Mm -hmm. you, know, it, you know, it's one thing I always have thought about. Those guys that were delivered in the biblical times, mm -hmm doesn't really track anyone's life after that. Right, right. But it was diff their lives were different. And, right. And trust me, when you come out of something like that, it just... Um, it, would be, it would be interesting to know some of those that were demon-possessed yeah, in, in the Bible that, that Jesus cast well, the demons out. Help <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done it right. Listen, yeah. here's the deal. You know, Jesus doesn't change. He's the same. He's always there and he's always enough. Right. The Lord's always enough. And so that's what I've experienced the last 30 years. It's been 30 years now. Just wow. about. Yeah.